if you know anything about me, you know I love fishing, especially bass fishing. But this year, I haven't had too many tight lines, so I decided to carve my own bass out of basswood. Get it? Stay tuned so you can see how I carved it and how I finished it. So when I first decided that I was going to carve a bass, initially I was thinking, cool, I'm going to do a, a twist in the tail and maybe twist the head a little bit, maybe, you know, have a lure or something like that in there. And those carvings are really cool. There's a lot of them and I like how they look. But during my research, I came across these vintage prints and I fell in love with it. It is just super cool. It's just the fish laying there. No action to it, but it's a great representation of what a largemouth bass should look like. I fell in love with it and decided this is how I'm going to go. So I actually bought this vintage print for my house and carved a fish. I call him Tony. He looks like a Tony fish to me and I think it's a fitting name for him. So I call him Tony Fish. Tony the Bass Fish, if you want to be technical. I started wood carving a number of years ago and I, I've carved a lot of crosses and angels. I really like doing that. They're smaller in size, so I would use a lot of palm gouges. Now these are designed to be held in your hand like this and it's really the force of your hand that's driving it. When I decided I wanted to move into something a little bit bigger, I stepped up to full size gouges and a mallet. Now this was great because it really, really helped me clean the background and model the fish very efficiently and quickly. And then when it came to the detail work, I could use some of these smaller tools and they worked awesome. So when it came time to finish my bass carving, I kept going back and forth between paint and shellac. I love how shellac looks, so I decided I'm just going to clear coat the whole thing. Then I got thinking, man oh man, Tony would look great with a little color. So I grabbed my epoxy dyes. Now I used a black and translucent green. 
I mixed them up a little bit. I used some acid brushes and some foam brushes and sort of smeared it around a little bit and it looks fantastic. Now, use at your own risk. I have no idea how it's gonna hold up. Your mileage may vary. Do some tests, see if you like it, go forward from there.